Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome to my sewing channel, Sew Notes. So I just want to give you a big thank you for watching my videos and for subscribing. Uh, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't think it would grow this fast or the way that it has. So I just want to say thank you so much for just being here and watching my videos. I hope that I'm making videos that you all are enjoying and that you will continue to enjoy and watch. So thank you so much. So today I just wanted to talk about uh, my makes that I made in July 2019 and then I'll give you a quick preview of what's coming up for August of 2019. So for July I made a total of four dresses, two of them which were a uh, pattern test and then two of them were for fun uh, to try out pattern hacking. My first time trying out pattern hacking and it turned out lovely. So anything that has a blog post or a previous video, I will link you to the video and the blog post, all right? So don't worry about that. The links will be all provided. So I started off the month uh, pattern testing for Sinclair Patterns, uh, the Zoe top and dress pattern, and I made the dress. So this pattern she had brought out a couple of years ago. She retired it a year ago and then she revamped it into a dress. So it used to be just the top and she revamped it into a dress. So uh, I'll show you quickly my make. So this is, this is the dress. This is made out of Liverpool, uh, Liverpool knit. So you can see the texture on there. And so this one is a bit too warm to wear in the summertime. So we're in the summer now. Today it was 32 Celsius outside. So we were in the pool uh, just having fun. Um, so yeah, this is definitely like a spring fall dress that I would wear. Then I made another one, but this time I hacked it instead of a drawstring waist. I did an elastic waist. So this is my second make of July. And this is a, a knit from my stash. So you can see it has a, uh, some metallic in there. All right, so that's the two Zoe's that I made. And then I made two Quincy's. So these two patterns that I'm talking about are actually my favorite patterns like right now. So the Zoe is a knit pattern and the Quincy is a woven pattern. So these patterns, you need to go and try them. I have no affiliate li links. I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to tell you my favorite patterns right now. So these are my favorite patterns. So this is a watermelon print. So this is a rayon. It's kind of wrinkly. It just came out of the wash. And then this one is also a rayon, but it, it's like a crinkly gauze rayon. I'll see if I could get that texture for you. So this is a crinkly gauze rayon and this is the flutter sleeve hack. So those are the only makes that I made in July, which isn't bad for summertime. Summertime I find my slow, my sewing slows down because it's so nice I want to spend most of my time outside. So for August now what I have, it's a busy month. I have two pattern tests that I'm working on, so I can't really tell you about those patterns, but be sure there's going to be a video in the near future about those patterns. So I have two pattern tests, and then I have another newsletter project that I'm working on. I could show you the fabric, but I don't want to show you the pattern. I don't want to give it all away because it's newsletter, it's not coming out till September, so I can show you the fabric that I'm going to be working with. This right here is an Antonia stretch twill suiting fabric and it is made out of polyester, rayon and spandex. So this is the color that I'll be working with. So 
so it's a deep chocolate brown has a little bit of stretch and so that's my fall project that I'm working on it's due in August so it's for fall but it's due in August so that is one of my projects so that's one of the fabrics nice chocolate brown I think it looks good against my skin color all right so there's that one and then we're thinking about Christmas in August <laughs> So I wanted to show you these two fabrics. I'm not showing you the project, but I'll show you the fabric. And these fabrics are from Minerva Crafts, so they sent it to me uh, in exchange of a blog post. So this is, look how gorgeous that is. So these are just uh, cottons, like quilting cottons. And let me tell you that these fabrics look so much better in person than they do on the computer screen. I wasn't too sure how I would like it, but I love the way it looks. And here is the red. So these are very nice fabrics. I'm excited. I know it's still summer and it gets really cold here and I don't want Christmas to come just yet. I want to keep enjoying my summer, but these are the fabrics that I'm going to be working with. Um, so to make it more interactive, why don't we have uh, you try to guess what I'm going to be making with the Christmas fabric. So with these two fabrics, what am I going to make for the Minerva Crafts Christmas blog? Let me know in the comments. I think that's a good, uh, good thing to leave in the comments. Take a guess and then you'll find out in a video in the near future. Um, so yeah, those are my projects. I have that chocolate brown fabric I have to work with, these Christmas fabrics, and I have two pattern tests. And I also want to try to squeeze in one more a top, a top pattern, a top sewing. I have the fabric. Uh, I just need to pick out the pattern, but I'm hoping that I can get that done too. So how many projects is that for August? Two pattern tests, the chocolate brown, and the quilting, so that's four plus a shirt. So I'm hoping to get five projects done for August. So I hope that you enjoyed my video and I will see you next time with an update on what I'm doing in August and if I accomplished everything. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs>